Hey everybody, Mark here with a quick video about the Folgers desktop vending machine. Um, this is a coffee vending machine um, that also can do other stuff like green tea as well. Um, it has, we'll go to the front first, but there is a little crystal display. This displays a lot of information about the buttons that you pressed. Um, also comes in very handy when you're uh, calibrating each drink that you make. Uh, but going through, um, there are three buttons here. One, it actually says 12 ounce right now, but you can make a small and a large or any other size. Um, in the software, you can make up to uh, 20 different drinks um, and save them into here in different slots. Uh, so just going through, it looks like you, know, you can make standard black coffee, uh, uh, you know, lattes, vanilla lattes, French vanillas, espressos, cappuccinos, uh, hot chocolate with milk. There's one that's for uh, chai tea. Um, so you could use one of the reservoir tanks for chai tea. Um, and just, you know, hot, you know, uh, hot chocolate. Uh, but there are, and we'll open it up real quick. There's, there's a, a nice lock on the side. We'll open it up. But there are six different um, powder containers. Um, each powder container has its own drive motor. Um, and every uh, powder container goes into this mixing bowl. The mixing bowl has a pump behind it. Uh, the materials mixed to the powder and the water is mixed together, calibrated and mixed together. And then it goes down, um, deposited into your cup. But let's get a little bit more in depth and kind of look at them. So all of these are near are identical. Um, besides which side this is uh, facing, so there has to be a left and a right to mix in one of these bowls. There is a there's a motor in the back that that couples into this piece of plastic. And we'll just take the top off real quick, turn it on its side. Uh, but you can see there is a worm gear assembly inside. So when you twist it, it it helps to um, break up the powder a little bit while it's inside and then extrude it out. But this is also um, done via second so when the motor runs you can do a uh, tenth of seconds um, so how much how much uh, powder you want to mix with your water as well as you can uh, call out how much water and what time you want to uh, what time and which uh, container you want to put the water into it's pretty easy um, I would suggest if you do have one of these machines write down uh, your calibrations um, it comes in very handy if you want to kind of tweak something or if a customer wants something like this, you can go in there and just change that information really quick. Nice on the back, there's a recommended cleaning schedule. Um, I usually wipe it down. Um, you can go into detail. I have, uh, you know, did a full clean on this thing. Didn't take that long. It was very simple. Um, they also go into how to remove anything else. So this is just, uh, you know, FYIs about how to use the machine. Coming down to the back side. Uh, there is a washing cycle. I like to run the washing cycle, you know, maybe every week. But all you have to do is you go into it, you press this wash button. There you go. And then it just puts water into every one. It'll spin around water. It'll just kind of clean itself out. And this is just the hot water that it uses. And then it'll go into the third one as well. I guess it's already done the third one. And the water just comes down the bottom. Um, and it just helps to uh, clean it out. Um, you can see it's perfectly clean inside. But let's do another thing while we're at it. Let's see what kind of temperature. You can set the temperature. But I think my tank in the back is at the fault at 110. So, oh, actually, it looks like it's actually at 126. Um, 130. There we go. So it's set at 100, 134 right now, but you can bring that number down or up. Um, when the machine mixes, it can adjust the temperature on the fly. So that's just what the reserve tank set at. It's 140. Um, going to the side, this machine does not have uh, the coin acceptor, but there is a coin acceptor that can be built in. Um, down here is the optical sensor. There's a light. So see, there's my finger in front, there's not, there is. You can, uh, in the software, you can turn this on or off if you want to have that. Um, we'll go around to the back. Let's go around to the back. There is one power cable 
and one um, one quarter inch uh, pipe or a quarter inch uh, yeah uh, pipe that runs currently is running to uh, my fridge. Um, but it's recommended, I think, 9 PSI of water. So it's a pretty low number. I have ran this before with just uh, a two-gallon uh, tank that sits right on top up here. So I'd have this closed. I put a two-gallon tank right on top, and that gives you more than enough pressure. So how it works, it's the, it, there is a pump that opens up that will pump the water inside. Um and then it goes in the, res the reservoir tank, and then each one of these motors also pumps water uh, into it. So you do not have to have a high high pressure head, or you have to be by um, you know a water outlet. Uh, but you know it's all your choice. But let me show you how this works really quick. Let me lock it up. So all you have to do is get your cup, put it down there. Um, you can do whatever size drink you want. So if I wanted a black coffee, I just press black coffee, and it will pump a black coffee in there. If I had the, obviously, the coffee mix into it. Um, and it really is that simple. So, And that's it. It's really nice. And then, it, oh, you didn't even see what I said, take your drink. Um, so the, the LCD screen does tell you a lot of stuff. Um, also, there's a stop button, so if your cup's starting to overflow, you can press stop on it. Um, but that's basically the review. It's been a great machine. It's ran great, um, and they're very reliable. Um, the drinks with the coffee mix, uh, you know, just buying it from Sam's, you know, just in bulk, it's costing about 25 cents a cup um, or less, depending on what you're going to make into it. But hope you guys enjoy that. Have a good day.